This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world in the off-grid project and life is getting back to normal slowly. Today was warmer. I was actually running around in just a sweatshirt today and actually sweating. It was um, 37, 38, 39 degrees and funny that felt warm. That's pretty funny. Got the propane heater going on low and I've just kept it on. Actually I did not shut it off today even when I left. Um, kept it maintaining here now that I finally got it warmed up and um, I got my monitor hooked up today there was a little bit of sun in the afternoon I should say it was fully sunny in the afternoon hours the uh, after lunch the sun came out and my batteries are up to 12.5 volts so I hooked up my um, laptop onto the monitor and I'm enjoying uh, my big screen I'm sitting way across the room here I'm sitting in my little uh, mobile uh, wireless mouse and keyboard setup which is way better for the eyes I like to sit way across the room from my computer uh, because my eyes were getting so blurry working on that laptop all this time and I got my office set up a little bit getting it neat getting it orderly um, you can see I'll show you this, this is embarrassing me I'm going to show you this there's a bunch of chaos here I still have a lot I'm sorting out um, yeah, I keep stacking things up and sorting through it and then stacking some more up and sorting through it because I ran through here in a whirlwind when I left so it's going to take some time to get this place cleaned up and back in shape but I'll get it so I'm working on the, the newest video here in full comfort so I'll see you guys tomorrow well I didn't have time to record today well, we worked. I had some friends over, and for their privacy, I didn't record anyway. I just want to give you a real quick briefing of what we did. Uh, my friends stripped out the old tattered plastic and um, worked on putting up new plastic here. Uh, one of my friends, I should say. I still have the, uh, the lights to put up. And he re redid the door as well. So that's all new. Um, it wasn't see-through plastic, but at least it's done. I got some cleaning up to do yet, but we're going out. Um, we have to leave now together, but it's making a difference here, and it really makes a huge improvement. Now, what I did is I stuffed insulation in all the gaps and stuff. I'll show you that later because I don't have time. They're waiting on me. But I insulated this room thoroughly wherever I had gaps and wherever the uh, insulation was pulled out. Um, I can feel the sun beating down in here. I can feel it baking on me, and it's making a huge difference. So that is awesome. My solar porch is again a solar porch and um, seriously it's making a difference. And they were they were complaining it was too warm in there actually. It's only 30 something 40 maybe out but inside there it's hot. And you can see I just stuffed any cracks and gaps full of insulation. And um, later I'll seal it off with metal on the outside but uh, the shed is now fully insulated and there's no more air flows um, so that's going to help a lot and then over here real quick because I have to go I just wanted to show this in the daylight um, one of my friends dug out the wood pile for me and uh, while I was stuffing the insulation in the wood stove shed he um, stacked up all the long boards that need to be cut yet um, did a very good job here and broke through all the stuff that can be split that's burnable and just needs to be split um, stood up some on end for drying so uh, my wood although it's not a lot he forgot his gloves although it's not a lot here um, I do have some firewood now which that's a couple of weeks of burning once that's dry it's a couple of weeks of burning there so oh it's good and here this will get me through quite a while once I cut that up so good day very good day so far um, stuff is melting and becoming a lake behind my truck it's a mess I don't know if you can see that well but uh, it's pretty soupy out here now there's actually flowing water can you see that flowing flowing water going downhill so that's it it's a solar passive solar porch again and doing its job um, Right now it's 66 degrees indoors and um, 50 something on the porch and 40 out.
Well, I'm back home. It was in the 50s today, and look at the difference here. Uh, the the uh, path getting to the, my place is still pretty bad. But it sure did melt right around the RV area here. And the yard. Um, quite a lot of melt here. You can see where the water was flowing in paths going down. Actually, I used my old tire tracks from before. Um, quite a lot of water. Give it another couple days like this and it'll be all gone. It's all slush though right now. Um, you can see we worked up quite a bit of mud today walking through there. It's disgusting. But looks good. Now I can show you the insulation I did inside. The, um, the shed here, what I did, I don't have to set this down in a second. don't know if there's enough light. Maybe. On the camera it shows. I put insulation up and down at every one of the cross beams there. And that wasn't that wasn't sealed before. So I've sealed all that all the way across. There's insulation all the way around. And I filled in almost all those gaps. There's still a little bit of um, tiny tiny air gaps here and there that I still have to fill. Now you see some light right here? That's fine because that's coming out onto my porch. And um, this wall I was going to insulate and I decided not to because that is where the heat radiates out under the porch right here through the doorway so I pretty much got it there's a little bit in the corner I still have to stuff some little tiny cracks and around the chimney uh, the stove pipe I need to get a little bit and I stuffed up in between the RV and the sidewall here pretty well so I'm feeling pretty good about the porch now I got some cleaning up to do now but uh, it's looking good it's looking really nice now and well insulated I have to say so it's gonna be way better off than it was before there was also <clears throat> I stuffed in here you can see where I put insulation all the way through from top to bottom wherever the air was flowing in and that was because there was some gas between the metal and the outdoor outside walls so um, when I was standing in there today you could feel the heat in there just from the Sun beating on the metal roof up on top and actually, standing right where I am now, the sun was beating on here and it was like an oven in here. So it really made a nice difference having this closed off. And actually, the thicker plastic, this is 4 mil. And I think I had um, half a mil or something like that before. It was really thin. And that makes a difference. Although I can't see through it, um, I can still stand up and look out through here. That's okay, I guess. So it's way better. I'm feeling pretty good about it now. <clears throat> I'll be happy when all this slop is gone, to be honest. I'm going to clean up this whole yard this summer, too. And then I put... Oh, good thing I came out. My friend forgot the screwdriver. I put in uh, insulation up inside here. There was a, a little bit of gap in the wall. I still got a seal up on top so it doesn't get wet next time, but... Uh, it's coming together. It's coming together well. Got a lot of cleaning to do this spring. But, yeah, it's a good day. Very profitable day, I'd say. Didn't get much video done, but there you can see the end results at least. Alright, we've got 45, 46 outdoors. 57 indoors. Now this is here at the ceiling height. No heat on for since, um, what time is it now? 6.30? Uh, I shut it off at noon. Six and a half hours I've had no heat in here and it's 57 degrees at the ceiling. 46 outside. Let's come over here to the indoor thermometer. We've got 
54 degrees down by the floor and 47 and a half on the porch right up against the RV so that's not bad considering half a day with no heat on at all not bad at all so that solar porch is doing its job nicely